Hello everyone, this is a tutorial by request to explain how and to demonstrate the crying effect that we created for iClone characters in iClone 5.5. You'll see here when I press play we're going to have a swelling up of the tear ducts and then a tear rolling down our friend Chuck's face. I'll play that again. Again, you're going to see the swelling of the tear and then the teardrop trace its way down the actual face. This is a, uh, a simple two-step process. You can utilize it, uh, do it for any character as a result. Uh, the, I created a project file specifically for this and I'll load this now and using this project file is what you can do to uh, recreate this effect for any, any character that uh, you want. I think I called this project tier or something to that effect as soon as I can dig it up and find it here for you. Uh, we must be getting fairly close. There it is. So as you can see here, it's uh, an empty stage. The background itself is the 2D background I'm utilizing. And as you can see, we have it active. And all we're utilizing here is uh, the actual texture map of Chuck's face, unedited. So we loaded Chuck into the scene. Uh, we took his face and his skin uh, and uh, saved the, the actual face itself. I'll show you actually through the process. You load up Chuck. Uh, he's going to be small on the screen. That's because of the camera positioning. Obviously, for our purposes, um, I manipulated the size and whatnot. So don't mess around with the camera angle or the, uh, the size itself. All we need is to load it so I can show you how to get his skin and take his upper... Uh, sorry, his face. You can see there is Chuck's diffuse map of his face. We just want to save that. You can save it into whatever folder. Call it Chuck Face. Uh, or again, whatever character you want. It's saved. And now again, for our project file, all we're doing is going to project uh, to the stage tab. And under 2D background, we're going to then load the Chuck Face onto the actual stage. And you'll see now that uh, that is actually active and that is the background. While you're at it, because you'll want to do this for, the, uh, for later as well, is with the character, do the same thing for the bump map for Chuck's face. We're just going to save it and call it Chuck Normal or Chuck Bump, um, whatever you want to call it as. Uh, I'll call it Chuck Normal. And as you see, I already done that for the purpose of this, but yes, I'm going to replace it. So, and then we can dump Chuck off the screen. So, what this what this uh, project consists of is simply three uh, PNG images. These are three image planes. One is uh, there's actually two that are comprised of swelling in the or the welling of the teardrop in the eye and the teardrop going down the face are the same image. They're just uh, manipulated differently. And we have a second PNG file, which is the trail that our tier follows um, on this page. And you'll see the two of them. This is the trail. It's a PNG file. And the, this is the tier itself and also what we're using for the welling in the, uh, in the eye. And again, those are both in the project file itself that, uh, that I'll distribute for anybody that wants to recreate this. So when we press play on this project file... You're going to see the welling of the eye and then the teardrop falling down and off. Again, we'll play that again so you can see it. And there goes the teardrop and off. So you can adjust uh, any if you wanted to, for example, have the welling in the eye take a little bit longer. You could go into the project file and into the actual image planes. The two areas are your transform and the material settings and you'll see in three of them the in the actual welling this is where it takes place there's the transform and then as a result the visibility of the material itself so you can play around with that and consequently uh, when you want the eye drop and the trail to uh, come into play uh, if you want to play around with those and and see how they stretch out and whatnot and the things but for the purpose of the project again it's already timed to to do with the welling in the eye and whatnot but again you're obviously welcome to play around with that as you see fit so this is the uh this is the again the project that we're going to now save 
because we've done this, we're in essence creating a video texture file of Chuck's uh, face for that to, to recreate the crying. This can be done with any character as a result because the images themselves that we're using for the crying are going to stay. Let's say we wanted to change the uh, this to be Gwyn crying and do it for a Gwyn character. Simply load whatever character it is that you want to apply this setting for. So there we've loaded Gwyn onto our stage. Same thing, we're gonna to go to her skin. We're gonna take uh, her face diffuse. We're gonna save that image out. We'll call it Gwyn face and save that. And we're gonna do the same thing for her normal map. And we're going to save that. And we'll call that Gwyn normal. So now we've got her two faces. So now I want to go back to my stage 2D background and I'm going to load back in now Gwyn's face and you'll see it'll pop in, no problem. Now we have her uh, diffuse as the background. We'll dump the character, get rid of the character off the stage itself because we no longer uh, need her. And as you see when I press play, the welling in the eye and then the teardrop, but it's taking place over top of Gwyn's diffuse map now. So all we're going to do is export that now, do it as a WMV. I find as a WMV they uh, import better into back into iClone as uh, video textures and simply export that. Again, whatever folder you want to use, we'll call this one the Gwyn tier. As you see, I already have a version of it from my previous tests. So we're going to save that. And now we have the video file of Gwyn's diffuse. We're going to do the same thing with her normal map. So we're now gonna go back to the stage and we're gonna replace her diffuse with the normal that we created for her. And as you can see that, and same thing, we're gonna see the welling in the eye and the teardrop fall. This is just so that when we're doing our texture map on the character, and you don't have to do this one, the, the normal one, but I like to do it just from a standpoint of, I find that it adds just a little bit extra into the depth of the uh, of the tier itself by doing it with the normal as well. So we're going to do the same thing. We export in WMV and we're going to just call this one Gwyn Normal as our video file. So now we've got that uh, rendered out as well. So now we have the two WMV files. We have one for the diffuse and one for uh, the uh, the normal map. And again, so that can you can use this project file for any character simply uh, by changing out the actual background, the 2D background that you want to use for the tiering. And then into whatever project or scene that you're using it for, for that character. Again, I'll go back to the version, the test version that I had for of uh, Chuck crying and we'll use that one for this so now again our original we had Chuck we're gonna now swap Chuck out with uh, Gwyn and we'll load her into the scene instead and so she adopts all of our previous animation so she's gonna look sad but she's not gonna be crying yet because our last step is to just load back on the diffuse that we did so we'll do that right now Go back to the beginning of our screen and we will now go and just load back on diffuse. We're going to now load the video file of Gwyn, which we had, which is Gwyn tier. And you see that that adjusted her, her coloring a little bit. We're going to go and add in the normal back, back for her as well. The Gwyn normal. And you see it adjusts it back a little bit. So now when we have Gwyn, she's going to behave and now the tear duct wells up and now the tear falls down Gwyn's face as opposed to Chuck's. Again, there it is, the welling in the eye and then the tear falls down and now Gwyn is our uh, resident crier. If you want to adjust the timing of the uh, video itself of when they actually cry, uh, you can do so obviously in the uh, timeline itself, the videos as you'll see are uh, located there and because we've got them separate, they're separated skin materials so you can move them around and match them up so that they're in the right, uh, 
they're in the right spot um, for however you want them to uh, to be or when you want them to play or start in your actual um, uh, scene itself. Alrighty, well thanks very much for uh, watching and keep the questions coming.